A few days ago, I added Wayne Gretzky to every single team in NHL 22. We then simulated a season in franchise mode and saw how it changed the entire league. But I thought to myself, what would it be like if we added a Hall of Fame goalie to every team? So why not add the best goalie of all time, Patrick Waugh? That's just my personal opinion. Please don't click off the video because you don't agree with me. So let's add Patrick Waugh to every single team in NHL 22. We are now inside NHL 22 and like every video, we're gonna choose an innocent bystander for this simulation. Today, we're choosing the Philadelphia Flyers. And here is Patrick Waugh. Now this is an exact copy of the Patrick Waugh that EA put on their NHL alumni roster. I then recreated the Patrick Waugh 32 times and put one on every single team. And here are his X factors. Since we put Patrick Waugh on every single team in NHL 22, let's look at some of the scary tandems in the league. The Anaheim Ducks have a goalie tandem of Patrick Waugh and John Gibson. And the Calgary Flames have a tandem of Patrick Waugh and Vesna nominated Jacob Markstrom. He kind of got a feel for Jack Campbell here as he signed with the Oilers and now he's playing as the backup. What the hell? Such a cool tandem in Minnesota, Patrick Waugh and Marc-Andre Fleury, two Quebec legends. In Nashville, Patrick Waugh and probably one of the most underrated goalies, UC Soros. Ew. Just Sturkin and Patrick Waugh. Oh! Ew. Patrick Waugh and Vasilevsky. And another disgusting tandem, Patrick Waugh and Connor Hellebuck. Just like every simulation video, we're gonna sim month to month and we'll check out who's leading the NHL, the leading scorers, and this time, the leading goalies. But before we get into the simulation, the question of the day, who is your favorite goalie that ever laced up the skates? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's get into the simulation. We are now done the spooky month of October. And the only thing that's scary, is the fact that you haven't subscribed yet. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the NHL season starts, and if you've gotten this far in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. All the support is appreciated. The Carolina Hurricanes currently lead the NHL with 15 points, a record of 7-0-1. The NHL leaders for points right now is Patrick Kane and Patrick Hornquist? Wait a minute! They each have 14 points in 9 games. I don't know why I didn't expect this, but look at the goalie leaders! Currently, the best goalie in the NHL is none other than Patrick Waugh, this time on Tampa Bay, with a record of 7-1-0, two shutouts, and a 9.46 save percentage. I mean, it's alright, like... Let's move on to the month of November. After the month of November, the Pittsburgh Penguins have claimed first place in the NHL with 33 points. They currently have a record of 15-4-3. Sidney Crosby on that Penguins team is leading the NHL in points with 29 and 22 games. And the Patrick Waugh army continues to dominate, especially the one in Tampa Bay who still leads the NHL with a record of 13-6-2, two, two shutouts and a 9-31 save percentage. Let's move on to December. And after the month of and after the month of December, the Penguins remain number one in the league with 56 points. They have a record at 26, five and four. Sidney Crosby continues to dominate the NHL as he currently has 48 points in 35 games. Hey, that's pretty good. And now it's time for the Patrick Waugh in Pittsburgh to shine as he currently leads the NHL in wins for goalies with 24. He has a record of 24, five and four with a 919 save percentage. Let's see what happens in January. No change after the month of January as the Pittsburgh Penguins are still number one in the NHL with 78 points. They currently have a record of 37, 9, and 4. And Sidney Crosby remains the number one scorer in the NHL with 70 points in 50 games. The Patrick Waugh in Pittsburgh remains to be dominant with 35 wins, 8 losses, and 4 OT losses, and a 9-10 save percentage. Look at all those penguins. Like every video, we're just going to skip over the month of February as there's only 4 games in the schedule, and we're going to go right to the end of March. <laughs> I had to pause the simulation here because this trade is way too funny. To Edmonton, they get Eric Carlson, and in return, San Jose gets a first round pick and a uh? Vander Kane. So Vander Kane's going back to San Jose. What? We are now done the end of March, and after the trade deadline, I had to quickly check and make sure no team was dumb enough to trade their own Patrick Waugh. Good job, AIGMs. You actually did something right this time. The Carolina Hurricanes have claimed number one in the NHL with 90 points. They have a record of 42, 13, and 6. Sidney Crosby yet again remains the top scorer in the NHL with 84 points in 63 games. And the Pittsburgh Patrick Waugh remains number one in wins for goalies with 38. He also has a record of 38, 13, and 5. He's got one shutout and a 9-12 save percentage. It is now time to sim to the end of the regular season. Let's see which Patrick Waugh can carry their team to a playoff position. We are now at the end of the season. The Carolina Hurricanes win the President's Trophy as they finished first in the NHL with 114 points. They finished with a record of 54, 22, and 6. 
Sidney Crosby wins the Art Ross Trophy as he edges out Patrick Kane by one point, finishing with 106 points in 82 games. And the Pittsburgh Patrick Waugh finishes with the most wins by a goalie in the NHL with 46. He finishes with a record of 46, 19, and 6, two shutouts, and a 9-11 save percentage. Now before we simulate the playoffs, I'm going to check all the Patrick Waugh's in the NHL and see which one surprised me and disappointed me. The Patrick Waugh in Anaheim actually finished with a lower save percentage than John Gibson. I don't know what's more disappointing in Arizona, the fact that Patrick Waugh finished 6 games below 500, or Scott Wedgwood went 2-15. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Even though the Patrick Waugh in Minnesota finished with a 915 save percentage, he still had a record of 28, 32, and 7. Ouch. The Patrick Waugh in St. Louis didn't even finish with a 900 save percentage. Jesus Christ. Somehow the Patrick Waugh in Tampa Bay only finished two games above 500. The Patrick Waugh in Toronto had six shutouts, but once again only finished one game above 500. The Patrick Waugh in Vegas got absolutely ragged into playing 72 games, but he still finished pretty good with a 926 save percentage. And the Patrick Waugh in Winnipeg finished with a 911 save percentage, but was seven games below 500. With those interesting Patrick Waugh stats out of the way, let's simulate the playoffs and see who wins the Stanley Cup. And the Stanley Cup winner is... The Dallas Stars again? I say again because, well, just go watch the Wayne Gretzky video. The Dallas Stars take on the Blackhawks in the first round and beat them in five games. They then go on to take on the Avalanche in the second round and beat them in seven. They then get their revenge on Calgary in real life and beat them in the conference final in six games to go on to beat the Boston Bruins in seven in the Stanley Cup final. Believe it or not, Tyler Sagan actually wins the Conn Smythe Trophy over Patrick Waugh. Tyler Sagan had 32 points in 25 games, including 15 goals and was a plus 16. But Patrick Waugh finished with a 16-5-3 record, two shutouts, and a 9-23 save percentage. And not only did the Vegas Golden Knights Patrick Waugh win the Jennings Trophy, he also won the Vesna Trophy. And that is going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed the simulation, make sure to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to leave your answer to the question of the day down below in the comments. And while you're down there, consider hitting that subscribe button. My name is Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Dude, I could totally end the video with something like, what video do you guys want to see next? <laughs>